In this first Descendant video, I bring you the first of many weekly installments of the best farms available this week. Reactors, XP, Kuiper Gold and more. A complete guide from the time period of August 14th to August 20th. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and I'm giving away Ultimate Descendants. Now do you guys want to win? Well it's as simple as this. Drop a like on this video, leave a comment down below and make sure you are subbed. I pick winners on a weekly basis and announce them on normally Sunday's video. The more I see you active on my videos, the more of a chance you have of winning. So good luck everybody. Also join my Discord link down below for even more giveaways. So today's video consists of me showcasing the best farms for this week. Timestamps are in the video description for those that need to skip to certain points or to a certain descendant uh, and we will start guys with reactors for your descendant the places you need to head to to indeed be able to farm the best reactor for your descendant this week now we are covering all descendants here but remember not every specific reactor will be available every week so there's never a guarantee a great farm for any said reactor either I will however do my best to bring you the most efficient ways to farm your reactor with what's available in said week. So we will start with Bunny and obviously here guys you want the Tingling Singularity Reactor. Now this week we only have the Mounted General and High Powered Round Reactors available. Now with 99.9% .9 of players no doubt wanting General Round Reactors here, your spot this week is within the Ruins area upon Vespers. Now there isn't a great mission here to farm with a crazy amount of enemies. This area consists of 3 missions, none great whatsoever, but if I had to tell you to farm one it would be the destroyed temple mission. It is fast to run, it does drop them, I'm getting about an average of 5 per run, it is quick and easy but it isn't anything amazing. Ok so we're going to move on to Viesa and here guys you want the frozen mechanics reactor, same with ultimate Viesa 2. Unfortunately for VS players out there it isn't great at all this week. Uh, the frozen mechanics reactor only dropped this week with the high powered round mounted weapons. Which I mean almost no one will want. But if you do, your area to farm will be the mountain tops area within White Knight Gulch. Ok so we're going to move on to Blair, here guys you want a burning phase reactor, uh, this week Blair players have a few different options, now if you want general round reactors here, the fallen theatre upon Kingston is where you need to head, now what I will say is, the two missions here are quick to complete but in my opinion you're best off doing the zone recon mission here up top, it was dropping them regularly for me so yeah, uh, plus you get the benefits of other loot from here too so if I were you, for this instance, farm that zone recon mission. Now in regards to those special round mounted weapon reactors, your spot this week is a derelict culvert upon Echo Swamp. Now I have run all these missions to see what's up and in my opinion you're best off running the Verdant Greenery mission and then going straight to the Zone Recon mission and rotating between the two. You get great materials from the Zone Recon mission with these, uh, reactor chances also and the Greenery mission does have a few enemies uh, so yeah, quick to complete, rotate between the two and should be good here. So yeah, so we're going to move on to Freyna. Here guys, you want a toxic mechanics reactor. So a general round mounted reactors are available this week and your area is the Moonlight Lake upon Vespers. Now after testing all the missions within this area, I'd farm this reactor again at the Zone Recon mission. It's quick, it's full of tons of enemies. It also drops some decent useful loot at the same time. So if I were you, definitely use the Zone Recon mission here. Now if you're after those impact round mounted reactors for Freyna, your place to farm this week is a large nuclear reactor mission upon sterile lands within the classified area. Here I do this mission on repeat, you'll get tons and tons of these reactors people. You also get loads of other materials, gold, kuiper, I mean this is a great farm nonetheless so yes enjoy this one. Ok so we're going to move on to Sharon now, here you want a tingling mixture reactor. This week we have the special round mounted reactor available uh, and I have the perfect farm for you. So this week guys for Sharon is the Moongrave Basin area upon White Knight Gulch. Here guys you want to do the mission of water cooling recording device and here's how I recommend you do it. Start the mission up, run to the A point, capture the point then run away and let the enemies capture it. Leave the enemies on the point alive and then run between the two enemy spawning points for all of the four minutes you have here taking out all the enemies until the mission fails. Or you can just stand in between the two enemy spawning points guys and shoot the enemies to their death. It really is as simple as that. You'll get tons of reactors from doing this. Tons of gold, kuipers and much much more people are great great farm nonetheless so enjoy this one. 
Okay, so next up guys, we have the materials mixture reactor. This is the fusion nano tribute. This works great with Eugene, Valby, Ultimate Valby, as well as Kyle. So this week guys, we have a special land mounted reactors available for you and a place to get these within the Fallen Ark area upon Fortress. Now this area is home to three missions but in my opinion the ship charging facility is the quickest to do this offering the most amount of enemies for your chances at the reactor. Now if you want an impact round mounted reactor, uh, if that's what you're after, head to Sterile Land and the Ironworks area as this is your destination this week for this reactor. The mission you want to be doing here for fast and easy loot is the logistics facility mission. Easy to run, loads of enemies and plenty of chances of getting this reactor. Now we're going to stick with Kyle because there's also a different reactor some people chase but this is the same reactor that works great with Ajax, Ultimate Ajax and Luna. This is the materialized mechanics reactor for tech and non attribute uh, players out there. And this week we have a spot for special round mounted weapons and it takes place within the destruction area upon Kingston. Now there are four missions in this spot but by far the best one in my opinion is the last emergency communicator. Tons of enemies, fast to run and loads of chances to you in getting this reactor people. So yes, keep this in mind if this is a reactor you are chasing this week. Okay, so next up guys, we have a reactor, the materialized phase reactor. This is great for Jaber, Galay, as well as Enzo. So this week guys, we have a general round mountain reactors available. For these, you want to come to the Mirage Stone area upon the Agna Desert. The mission without doubt you want to be doing for this one is the commanding ground mission. This is absolutely hectic, but it's got tons of hard hitting enemies great great loot and many many chances of you getting the perfect reactor this week from this mission people so yeah come to this one okay so lastly for the reactors we have the burning mechanics reactor this is perfect for a lepic ultimate lepic and a seymour okay so this week we have a general round mountain reactor available and your area this week is the misty woods upon the echo swamp now there are three missions within this area but the one i recommend you doing is a hazy swamp mission this one's fast easy to run has a ton of enemies within it so it'll drop you plenty of these reactor so do what you gotta do here people Okay, so now we're going to move on to farms that offer you that gold, that XP and that Kuiper all in one. Now the best current farms in the game, in my opinion there's three here. The first one we're going to check out is what's known as the Valby Run. This consists of you doing the zone recon mission within the defense line area upon Fortress. Now to do this one consistently guys, uh, to make the most out of it, you need a couple of Valbys to be here. But come here guys, if there are Valbys here, take part in this farm. Here, simply start the mission up, take out the points of A, B and C, maybe D as well, can't remember. And then guys, the boss will spawn in. Now you want to take the boss down to his first phase, basically where the three balls spawn above his head upon this point. Unlimited enemies will spawn in around him. With Valby's running in circles, dropping that water upon the floor, you can then just run around following them, picking up all that loot, all those materials, gold, Kuiper, you name it, guys, it's absolutely unreal. And per run, me with a couple of uh, Valby's here, I can get upwards of 300k gold here and around 10k shards at the same time, and a run takes about three minutes. So, yeah, pretty cool. Another amazing farm takes place within the Echo Swamp uh, region and the mission here you want to be running is the Environmental Contamination Zone mission. This thing is utterly wild. Now it does require a bunny or a couple of bunnies to be super consistent. I mean you can run it without them, it just takes you a longer time. I mean if you have a couple of bunnies here, I myself can run it about 30 to 40 seconds, more or less solo and I get a ton of loot of this. Uh, so yeah, it's absolutely crazy. The mission consists of you basically starting a mission, running up top, taking the enemies out up top, running down into a cave, taking out a few more along the way, taking out a few elites at the end and the mission's basically done. You'll get about 3k plus Kuiper per run and over 50k gold per run as well people. So yeah, pretty cool. The last farm today guys I want to talk about is a Kuiper mine upon sterile lands. This one again is real easy to do. It doesn't require any particular descendant as long as you can take out enemies fast. The faster you take them out, the quicker they do respawn in. So yeah, you start this mission, you eliminate the first few sets of ads, activate the point, and around this point there will be multiple enemies constantly spawning in. Like I said, the quicker you take them out, the quicker they do respawn back in. 
So you have about a four minute timer to do this constantly over and over. I can do it consistently, get 15K plus shards easily, Kuiper shards that is, and around 250 to 300K gold per run. Each run does take about four to five, well actually about five to six minutes actually, all in all. So yeah, it's still a great, great farm. Now if it's strictly XP you are after, there are quicker ways to get XP than what I've showcased to you guys today, but I don't want this video gone on forever, especially when I've already made a top 10 best XP farms in the game, which I'll link down below in the video description. Been crazy crazy XP farms in the game guys, literally ones that will get you like 11k plus XP every 10 seconds or less, so yeah, keep that in mind. So yeah, do what you gotta do there guys, but there we have it, this week's a weekly farming guide now if you have anything to add to this video please do leave a comment down below in the video description if you think i can make this video better in any way by including any other particular farm also let me know that too and guys really i do appreciate the support and hopefully you enjoyed this video if you did leave a like it really helps me out if you like what you see and want to see more of the first ascendant be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys i will see you on that next one